Hello all. Look what just came in from down under Australia. This is the ECD meter. Okay. And this comes from Stony in Australia. I'm going to introduce the meter. Now, as you know, I'm not the most technical guy, and I'm still getting used to this. So if I make some blunders along the way and I'm a little slow, uh, you know, put up with it. But I just got in and I was so excited that I had to pop up a quick intro to it. Okay, it came in from Australia. Um, I ordered from Stony also a little device that I'm going to be able to attach onto it. And I'm if I get the right program in my computer and figure it out, I'll actually be able uh, to do like graphs and charts and everything else in my computer. But at the moment, I'm just going to use it at its most basic level. Now, I own a Provari. Have you, okay, have you ever wondered if the Provari is accurate? Also, have you ever wondered, um, not wondered, but realized that the Provari tells you uh, your battery level, which is not what this does, but it will tell you your resistance of your atomizer, and it sh tells you the voltage that it says that it's putting out. That's it. Okay, But there's more to vaping than that. There's also how much current or amps are you using, and how much power or wattage. Okay, Provari doesn't tell me these things. In addition, I've been, I have a number of different e-cigs and I'm testing a number of e-cigs and those, I have no way of knowing even the things that the Provari is showing me. And, you know, for example, I have to accept that the Provari is telling me the right resistance in the uh, clear miser, etc. Um, I've tried using a multimeter and it works somewhat on the higher ones, but on like the 1.8s, I can't get a multimeter to tell me what my resistance is. So anyway, this okay device from uh, the, EC, the ECD meter is going to solve my problems that way. Also, it's supposed to detect if a unit is PWM or not. And if it's PWN, it shows a whole bunch of other uh, graphics or things, okay, which we won't go into today. We're, this is just a basic intro. So anyway, we have our ECD meter, all right? And right now, my Provari is showing at 4.4 volts, okay? I'm gonna plug my ECD meter in. By the way, I should mention while I'm doing this, that this great device is coming from Australia. I'm ashamed to be an American. <laughs> no, I think it's great. You know, technological innovation come from everywhere. There are geniuses in all countries. But you would think that somebody in the U.S. would have figured out how to make this device and, you know, make it uh, very inexpensive. And they haven't. But uh, Stoney did, and, you know, he has a very, very good price point. Now, Let's take a look. Okay, I have this set for battery, and there may be a way to reverse it, but the way that they've done this is that you can do your readings while you're vaping. So if I'm on the camera, I'm upside down, okay? Let's take a look at what it says my battery on my Provari is putting out. What do you know? It's sticking right around 4.4 to maybe 4.6 so it's fluctuating about uh, half a volt okay is that noticeable probably not and that's why everybody says that the Provari is rock solid what will be interesting is to is to compare the Provari and see how uh, the other uh, units out there you know do in terms of the stability of the voltage by the way we're going to make the assumption that the ECD meter is dead right on okay so anyway let's put a 
Vivinova, 2.8 clear miser in. Okay, and let's see what it says it's putting out. Interesting. I'm showing 4.4 to 4.5. It's even sticking closer once the uh, clear miser is in. Okay, who's right? Well, one of the things to consider is the Pravari is only a two digit uh, tester. It only does 4.1 or it'll go up to 4.2. Okay, but it doesn't have the third digit. So if we look, this is all staying within that 4.4 level. Okay, so I'm gonna have to say the Bravari is accurate. We've got a 4.4 according to Stoney. Now, the next step is, let me switch it to the next setting. Okay. the resistance of the atomizer. Okay. I've got a Vivinova 2.8 uh, clear miser in here. Now, according to the Provari, let's see what the Provari says. Okay, that's one thing I hate about the Provari. If you skip, if you skip it, you're dead. Okay, Provari is saying 2.8 and then it went to 2.9. Okay, well, let's see, what is uh, Stoney saying or his ECD meter? What do you know? Right at that 2.87 range. So, I mean, 0 0.03, that's nothing. So. We're going to say that this is, is vaping at the 2.9. ECD meter, what are you going to show me next? Okay, I want to know what is my power. How many watts am I at? All right, well... I'm right at about that 6.7 watt range. Let's have a little bit of fun. Okay, let's type in 6.7 watts. Let's type in 2.9, I'm, I'm doing this into a chart, 2.87. I'll even be a little more accurate because, uh, you know, let's say 2.87, okay, resistance, and it shows that I'm at 4.38 volts and 1.52 amps. So let's, that's the, the remaining thing to test is the amps. Well, what do you know? We're showing right at 1.5, more or less, amps. Okay, so 0.02. Again, I, I consider this to be negli negligible. Where this is going to come into play is when you're uh, vaping on a... Uh, you know, it's helping me to understand some of the e-cigarettes that have lower batteries. So this unit, the ECD tester, just gave me my power, my voltage, my current, and my resistance, okay? And, you know, I just can't wait to go to town on it and test it out with a bunch of other units. You all have a good night. Goodbye.